Good morning. So my recommendation that I'd like to offer to whoever is watching is something that, that I've been following quite closely the last um, several months, which is to take a break from your spirituality. So what do I mean by that? Um, the first thing, ironically, is that um, our lives are intrinsically spiritual. And I can get into that later, but there is, there is no actual taking a break from being spiritual in the sense that um, a tree cannot take a break from being a tree, you know, and, and being, being spiritual is, is more like that than saying an eye can take a break from looking. An eye can take a break from looking, but it cannot take a break from being an eye. So, um, so when I say take a break from being spiritual, what I mean is, is trying to be spiritual, efforting towards the goal of being more spiritual, more aligned, more in uh, an, an enlightenment, in that kind of um, seeking state. Because it's um, that kind of efforting is, is very stressful and straining, and, and you can only push for so long and then you have to pull back. It's just like everything that we see in nature with the seasons, the tide, um, there is the push and pull and, and that, that recession is a critical part of, um, of the growing and healing process. But then again, it's the, the, the paradox is that if you understand that we are all consciousness a single, complex, um, infinite consciousness manifesting itself in a myriad of minds, then there is nowhere to grow. And yet, we find growth. So there is that paradox that that's, um, you know, it's, it's just there. It's like always being Buddha, always becoming Buddha. It's, it's just... Uh, the tree is perfect in every st in every stage of its growth. I just really like trees. That's why I use that a lot. Um, but uh, it, it's the efforting against the natural progression of, of your life that, that can put strain on you that's, that's completely unnecessary. And so um, the image that comes to my mind is like, is like having a rope in your teeth and, and, and trying to pull a cruise ship while you're swimming. And I, and I get that feeling myself, you know, it's just, I, I, I struggle so hard and pulling and pulling and pulling and straining. And the boat is just going to go at whatever pace it wants to go. And it's going to go the direction it wants to go. It's, it, I, I have a, a, a meaningless amount of influence, um, if any at all. And so um, what makes a lot more sense is just to float and let the boat, boat pull me. Now, this is a very, very difficult thing, concept to, to allow, and I completely understand because I've been there for so long. It's very, very difficult to allow because there's a certain sense of um, almost like guilt that, that can come up. Like, oh, I'm not doing enough. I'm not, I'm not taking charge of my spiritual health or well-being and my energy is whatever and it's like no the less interference that you have in your process the healthier and more effective nature can be in evolving you because there is no lack of work that can be done and there's no lack of effort by nature on you but it's it's kind of like um you know if you have a textbook and the teachers giving you the teacher who we assume is very good at their job is giving you lessons in a way that are orderly and meaningful. But in your excitement, you want to skip to the end because you want to finish because you want to complete this process of learning. And, um, but in doing so you miss a lot of stuff in between and it makes that last piece inaccessible to you. So, so to, to pull back and, and let 
information process appropriately and integrate and 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 then the next lesson comes in at the right time uh and then you work on it process integrate and then so on and so forth as life works now there there can be the potential for a little uh bypass here in saying that um you know i don't need to try to be spiritual so i'm just not going to do anything I'm going to um, just lock myself in my room and play video games or dive myself into, um, I don't know, some other kind of meaningless waste of time. I'm not saying that at all. What I, you know, it's still important to be engaged. It's just that there are many, many, many ways to stay engaged with your life that have nothing to do with... Um, uh, padding the spiritual ego, you know, talk to family, go out, interact with people in the real world. Well, it's quarantine, but as much as possible, you know, within reason, um, you know, communicating with people and, and having, having conversations that are not necessarily easy. You know, if, if you want to find any material that, that will, allow you to um to get closer to to yourself and to, to see yourself for who you really are is to be um brave in conversations you know don't talk about things that are light talk about your fears talk about your pain um you know and and let that space be open for someone else to have a kind the kind of conversation like that with you i think that a lot of people want that a lot of people want depth um, you know, a, a level of depth that's, that's appropriate for where they are in the moment. Um, but, but he, uh, people will surprise you. And, and I think if you, um, if you can take a little bit of initiative in that direction, people will surprise you. And even though they might not have a conversation like that again for a while, they will reflect on it and they're going to, you know, think oh wow that was such a great conversation i had and um and and so life is full of that and that's that's kind of what i'm getting at is that there's so much opportunity to to have very significant meaningful um organic spiritual growth that that has nothing to do with efforting towards um, the, the mantras or the kriyas or, you know, whatever kind of dogmatic practices that are, that are normally adopted by the spiritual or new age community. Um, life is plenty. Life is, life is the overly abundant and perfect teacher. So, um, so, you know, uh, yeah, just just pull back. Like, don't um, don't try too hard. Try just enough. 